Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all how you can customize Spotify and change the theme to whatever you like. So Spotify as of right now looks a little something like this. This is my Spotify and it looks pretty customized. I've installed the one punch theme using Spicetify, which is the tool we're going to use to customize it. And this is what that looks like. You have a wide array of choices when it comes to choosing themes, and you can choose any one of them. Let's check how we're going to do this. Now, let's open the website. So you should go to this link. I'm going to leave the link in the description. And once you do that, just scroll down to the Linux and Mac OS section. This is an installation. So you'll find that we have a curl command here. So what this is going to do is this will curl that means it'll just get from the internet this script and pipe it to sh sh is a shell interpreter like bash it's basically the place where you type all your commands like echo hello prince hello and you could do that same thing in sh as well so sh is just another shell you can copy that and paste it now this is what you would do if you're on another distribution if you're on the AOR, then you would just yay-s spicify CLI and copy that here and install it. Including the dash dash needed flag will only install needed packages. Now, as you can see here, I've installed it already, so there's nothing for me to do. It just skips it. Next, we scroll down and we find uninstallation, but first we need to use, use spicify. So let's go here. So you run with no command once to generate the config file. Copy that. Just execute that once and it's supposed to generate a config. It'll give you a generation generating config message. Here I've already done it so it doesn't show anything. And okay, so once we create the config file, we're supposed to execute this command to enable dev tools. DevTools basically refers to developer tools. So if you've ever worked with web applications or websites in general, you have most probably used this. Now, when you press F12 on your keyboard, it brings up this window where you have console, you can log stuff. Basically JavaScript, hello world, this prints hello world here. So this is just something that aids in development when it comes to helping developers. That we're going to use that here because there's certain functionalities that require this i'm guessing so just copy that paste it here and let's see so i've already made a backup so it says that it can't be backed up again which is fine you won't be getting this error if you're running it for the first time then next up if we change any colors in color.ini or user.css we need to run spicify update so if you're making your own theme then just keep that in mind but for us we are going to install a pre-created theme the first repository here is the official spicify themes repository just click on that it's going to bring you to this github page scrolling down you'll find installation instructions again if you're on linux you can just git clone and cd into there and copy everything to doc config spicify themes this is what you would do if you're not on the aor if you use arginx you can find this on the aor so that would be so if we make a quick search for that spicify themes you would find a spicify themes git just install that with yay-s spicify themes git once you install it which should take about five minutes that's what it took for me might take a little bit less for you a bit more it's fine once you install that just come back to this page and look at this co command here we're choosing which theme to apply so spice if i config current underscore theme and then the theme name this is the sort of placeholder which they've used here as you can see it follows a sort of placeholder convention with the capital letters and the separation of two words with an underscore so you can tell that that's a placeholder. So if we copy this, we can replace theme name with an actual theme name, which I'm going to show you over here. 
we can see a preview here themes.md click on that and these are previews of all the themes that this repository has to offer burnt sienna dreary default all of them dribblish themes these themes usually tend to be the best ones because they're the cleanest as you can see from the design you can also pick another theme like scrolling down here we get matte to be one of them periwinkle porcelain gray is a good one it's just black mostly or rather gray and this this is the theme that i was using previously one punch let's try legacy legacy or sleek i'll just go with okay sleek should be better because it allows me to showcase the scheme names as well so we'll pick something like blade runner current theme is going to be sleek and just copy paste and run spice defy apply again copy paste okay that applies the theme next we're gonna pick a scheme from here so you can pick vanta black which is just a jet black theme dracula ultra black which is also similar to vanta black let's go with something like either coral or blade runner let's go with blade runner copy that if you come back here you should find the command for it that's basically spice to config i think it was yeah, color scheme and that blade runner hit enter spice to apply and now when we launch spotify we are going to get a changed theme there is a way to change the font here i'm pretty sure you're gonna have to look it up on the internet i'm probably gonna make a video on that soon enough but yes that's pretty much how you change themes it's very basic these are not the only themes that you can find if you go over here you can find more themes comfy spice defy fluent spice defy bloom and many more themes so whichever one you want you can choose and use Mm, seems like that's pretty much it guys if you have any questions or you need any help with anything leave a comment down below i'll try my best to help you out like the video if you liked it sub if you loved it and that's it i'll see you guys next time peace